Magandang araw mga kabusing at welcome back sa ating Muntin Channel. Pinoy boxer na may malapakyaw na galawan nagpasikat sa labang Pacquiao vs. Marquez sa pangapat na pagharap matapos makuha ang panalo ng isa nating kababayan na si Ernest Sanchez sa undercard sa malaking laban ni Pacquiao kay Timothy Bradley Jr. na ginanap taong June 9, 2012. Dito nga ay nakalaban ng ating kababayan ng isang knockout artist ng Dominican Republic na si Wilton Hilario. Bagamat hindi man nito nakuha ang panalo sa isang knockout victory pero maganda naman ang pinakita nito sa laban at nakuha ang panalo sa tatlong hurado. Kaya sa labang Pacquiao vs. Marquez 4 ay nabigyan ulit ito ng pagkakataon na maging undercard sa laban na ginanap sa MGM Grand Grand Garden Arena sa Las Vegas. Dito nakalaban ni Ernie Darak Sanchez ang tigasing buksingero ng Amerika na si Koy Evans na may boxing record noon na 10 wins, 1 loss and 2 knockout. Sa tulong ng kanyang trainer at coach na si Boboy Fernandez at Nunoy Nyere ay lalong hinasa ng gusto ang boxing skill ni Sanchez dahil rin sa inidulo nito si Manny Pacquiao at makikitang mag-training ay nakakuha rin si Sanchez ng galawan ni Manny kaya maraming nagsasabi na may galawang Manny Pacquiao ang bagitong Pinoy kung lumaban may pagka-brawler din kaya ni Pacquiao Bagamat may tatlong talo si Sanchez ay hindi pa ito nakatikim ng knockout sa kanyang edad na 20 years old na sa araw nga ng laban ay hindi nito binigo ang kanyang mga trainer at tagahanga ang matinik na buksingero ng Amerika ay nagawa nitong ma-knockdown Ito po ang naging highlight sa kanilang laban mga kabusing uh, uh, He turned pro in 2004 winning a majority decision over Edward Veld from the Philippines He's back to you now He's got red and blue with the sort of a Chris Espanola in the Philippines He went on to win his first 11 professional fights and last year he dropped three fights in Philippines and he He trains in the corner with him. Both guys getting jabs. It's sure to be an action-packed fighter. Nice shot that time by the kid from the Philippines. Sent. Went with the right hand lead and uh, immediately counted by Coy Evans. Good job by Evans. Now hard punches to the body by Ernie Sanchez. Right back comes Coy Evans with a strong right hand. Referee can stop the fight, and if we get into any accidental fouls, I'll explain that uh, Ernie Sanchez from the Philippines. There's that right hand, and it's going to stay there because every time that the kid goes, Sanchez had the the hand down again. There's the right hand again. These are solid shots. So you talk about effective aggressiveness and hard punching. Evans is having a good uh, round here with uh, almost two minutes gone. You got Sanchez uh, hanging on. Sanchez takes a body shot. Vic Dracula says keep him up. Sanchez. Sanchez is a really good boxer. One of the kind of the knocks uh, when we go to the main uh, bouts this evening. As again, uh, Sanchez in the black, uh, rather in the uh, red with the uh, white trim, loading up shots against the in the first round. But boy, there's that right hand again that buckled the knees. Right hand that's ticketed for the left side of the jaw of Ernie Sanchez. Sanchez loads up his shot, but he exposed himself, comes to the left hook, and now he's going to work with his right hand. Boy, this is a nice fight all of a sudden. Sanchez tied to getting pummel with the right hand, so he's throwing a lot of shots. And the best defense against a guy that's doing that to you is doing just exactly what he's doing. Because this is an eight-round fight, though, and he's letting a lot go here in round number three. And down goes Coy Evans. Knocked down. Sanchez will try to take him out right now because he let an awful lot of, an awful lot of uh, everything go in this third round. Blasts him to the body. Back upstairs with the left hook. Evans' eyes appear to be clear, but his legs don't seem to be strong right now. Hit from the Philippines. Wow, look at that. Loads up the left-hand shot. And all of a sudden, this whole thing turned around. Boy can't land his right hand. And Sanchez is really all over him, and he's got uh, enough time to take him out. But I tell you, Boy comes back with a couple of chopping right hands. If he gets back into this hook fight, Sanchez again in another one. Here comes the bell to end develop, and that's uh, the special heat camera. There's the knockdown, the straight right hand. 
Uh, eight, remember uh, Ernie Sanchez to the right of your screen, now with his back to you, now to the left of your screen, expended a lot of energy in the jab. You notice when he's jabbing now and reaching uh, Sanchez, that somebody in his corner, namely Boo Boy, who also worked in this shot here. Whenever Sanchez reaches with the right hand, he drops his left. This has been around for Corey Evans. I don't know if he's done enough to win it, but we'll see how the judges see it. All right, Primo Marquez, he's been with him since he's a kid, so it's been a long time. All right, here we go. This is round number five back inside the arena. Our principal's Ernie does something behind the jab, and the jab is effective. He bends down, but he bends down right in front of uh, Evans. That's not the place you want to be. You want to get angles when you're going to do that sort of thing. Either that, and I told you if Sanchez continues to come in, this kid's a good fighter, but he makes mistakes. Bends over, got a good shot off that time. He bends over, he drops the left hand, especially after as in the red and blue from the Philippines and the fellow from Philadelphia. And the USA is Coy Evans, he's facing you in the red trunks with the white trim and the black shoes. His people in his corner want him to throw his jab stiff with the right hand behind it. There it is, but they'd like for him to double it. There's the double jab right hand, and that's what he needs to do. Right back. A nice left hook. Sanchez having a better round this time around. Although the styles of these fighters makes for a really nice fight. The uppercut misses. And when you miss an uppercut and you're in tight like that, my gully, you better look out for that right hand coming back at you, especially the way Sanchez throws punches. Just a very nice little fighter face from the 28-year-old Coy Evans. Looping right hand catches him that time. And a hard right hand, he pays the price for it. Evans is tough, he takes another right hand. Closing seconds of the sixth round. You know, Evans was down in the third. Other than that, nobody's really been shaken in this fight. And there's been some good fights. Looks big and strong. This is round seven. We got the kid from the Philippines, Ernie Sanchez, 20 years of age, and the multicolored trunks with the multicolored shoes. And happen. Sanchez hasn't picked it up. But if he does, he'll drop this kid. Body, body inside, body shots. That was a double jab there, so that's good. Boo Boy has got the Sanchez doubling occasionally when he can. Nice up a cut on the inside again by Sanchez. Sanchez having a real good round. He's not afraid to take a shot. He's in great shape. Left hook, and he's been able to gobble up that right hand that has caught him, I would say, on six or seven occasions during the course of the fight. You'll see when he catches Evans, Evans can't count off balance. But Evans has got to be in position, and he wasn't to land it. Down back in the, uh, uh, brother, he knocked the... Uh, Corey Evans down back in the third round, so Sanchez is ahead in the fight, in my opinion. Landed, banks to the left, continues to circle, comes with the left hook, that hand. And it's there, but he doesn't see. Digging body. The bell ends it. Still throwing it. There he is in round four, still, un still able. Uh, Evans, rather, able to uh, land that right hand. He found the home early for it, and he really couldn't take advantage of it at this stage in the fight anymore because I think he injured the hand. And you see, this is round three where he gets knocked down. And almost from that point on, the right hand... Ernie The Rock Sanchez!